Through our strategic partnerships program, Seattle Department of Neighborhood staff collaborate with other city departments to support and guide community engagement on specific projects. And right now, we're working on projects with Seattle Public Utilities and the Seattle Department of Transportation. I'm working on numerous projects representing Seattle Department of Transportation, asking questions, listening, reporting this information back to the city, making sure that people that are impacted, uh, that their voices are heard. They are part of the decision-making process. So when I started with Seattle Public Utility, um, I was working with the Outreach, Education, and Engagement Core Steering Team. I was able to talk about the importance of building these trusting, authentic relationships that without that, we have nothing. Now, I have the ability to be the community engagement lead on a drainage improvement project in Rainier View. It is a neighborhood that has not gotten a lot of attention from the city. And there's major flooding issues there. And just to walk around and see the lack of sidewalks, the lack of infrastructure. And so that's what this community is really lacking. And that's what I'm so happy that we're gonna be able to bring something there and that Seattle Department of Transportation is also looking at doing projects there. For me as the community engagement lead, as well as the person who is the lead on the racial equity toolkit, it's very important that we work as one Seattle. It's not Seattle Department of Transportation is here and then also Seattle Public Utility. That's too much drama for a community and a neighborhood, not fair. We're going to work together. So this is just really a wonderful opportunity for us as a city to do right by this neighborhood. when the West Seattle High Bridge was shut down. One of the important things was to find ways to continue allowing the traffic that was going across the waterway to continue in some capacity without further burdening uh, these communities in the Duwamish Valley. My program was focused on helping people find other ways to move across the waterway rather than being in their cars. We're taking people to the Seattle Center, we're getting people on the bus, we're getting people in vans to get to where they need to go. What about the water taxi? And so the idea came about to put on a ride. I started to get in biking when I turned 50. I met uh, Phyllis Porter and she introduced me more about Black Girls Do Ride and she would set up meetings and riding. And so most recently, we went over to West Seattle, so we rode around beautiful Alki, and then on top of that, we were able to introduce our bikes to the ferry. We were all giving Orca cards for our trip over. Once we got off the taxi, we were on our bikes. We took the bikes down the east margin away, up over the low bridge, um, taking the route, the route all the way back over to Aokai. Oh God, that event was amazing. It opened my eyes because it made it easy. It introduced me to transportation and I would never ever think about taking a water taxi. Now I know I can do it in the reverse, so I don't need my car. We wanted to make you feel comfortable in your community. We wanted to bring awareness. It's not just giving them an Orca card and say, here, go, but to sit down and have an experience. And it, it just felt like it was unity. The messenger is important. It is received differently coming from someone, let's say you feel closer to and that you trust, than if it's coming from the city. And so Phyllis coming from the community and representing the black community in the biking space created a sense of trust and, and closeness already to where it really helps facilitate these conversations, whether it's physical safety on the road or other types of safety and how they might feel being in their skin moving through the city. I am in meetings chronically saying, let's make sure that we're including black, indigenous, people of color, immigrants, refugees, and other underserved people. I understand that the city wants to undo institutional racism. Well, then we have to speak up. 
And that's my job as a strategic advisor. If I'm not speaking up about race and social justice, I'm not doing any good to Seattle Public Utility, Department of Neighborhoods, but more importantly, to the community.